I was born in a car in 1972 in like the front seat of a Plymouth station wagon. And you know, I hear the stories all the time. I, I hit, I came out at 65 miles an hour and never stopped. You know, all those things my my folks have to say. It was kind of a long road for me as a kid. You know, I was, you know, I was in a lot of trouble always, and I fit in. But I think it was more because of, uh, you know, I had, I was always like creating some sort of chaos, which other people kind of, you know, got a kick out of watching you know, at my expense. Went out west and that's when I, you know, really started first really painting once I was out of New York, par partially because I my camera was broken, you know? So it was just like, I was like faking it, just, you know, fucking around and I, I needed to do something real. And painting was it. In my first year in art school, they were like, you need to stretch a canvas, you know, you should be painting on canvas. Why aren't you painting? Oh my God, I can't believe this guy. He's not painting on canvas. It's not about, it's not about what you're painting on. Uh, I mean, it's it's more about um, how, why I chose, why am I using these materials? Because they're accessible, they're everywhere, they're relatively inexpensive. And really, anybody could do, you know, could use these. It's like it's hard to sort of uh, define what the art world is to me, you know, because you know what is the art world really? I don't know. It's is it the, is it New York? Is it L.A. or what is it? You know, I'm just kind of kind of here, you know, making my making my own pictures and. You know, I don't really like, you know, subscribe to all the hipster art magazines and, you know, I, I know when I like something and there's a lot happening that I like. You know, especially down in like, you know, deep south of the United States, I mean, there's some, there's some great paintings coming out of there by like truck drivers and janitors and, you know, yeah, people who just, for some reason, had this urge to just you know, make, and that, that to me is, is more genuine than, than someone who's been sent to the, you know, the, the best of the best, and is it the, the wealthiest, uh, you know, the kid that goes to, gets his MFA from, from Harvard, or Yale, or is it the truck driver, and, Louisiana, who sees life, who who documents life, you know? What I'm doing, is it something that's relevant? Is it real? And then, you know, when that uncertainty is there, it's, you know, you just get too caught up in asking yourself too many questions about yourself instead of just letting yourself go and, and, and create and and be a human being, be the human being that, you know, I am. What's allowed me to stay the course, it's, you know, I don't think I really have a choice, you know? It's just, uh, like, this kind of found me, I think, you know, in a way, too. It, it's, it's not something I've, like, uh, you know, viciously sought after and been chasing my whole life. It's been with me my whole life, and it's like a... It's like a spirit, you know. It's like a, it's like a person on the, on your shoulder that, like, you know, that just kind of follows you around and steers you. You know, I start to get uh, a little scared, and that's one of my biggest fears. Is I have this fear that one day everything's just gonna just kind of go up in smoke. I'm gonna be like dumbed down or something, and never be able to create again. But. I try to reassure myself that that day won't ever come, you know.